Hey, Salakia. Uh, the phone cut off, went off, so I guess this will be a part two. But the last thing I said, I believe, was uh, uh, if you ain't standing on nothing, you know, if if you're, you're like the analogy of the scriptures, if your house not built on a rock, you know, a rock is a solid foundation. If your house ain't built on a solid foundation, then when the adversity come, you're going to faint, you're going to fail. All right? You're going to give in, you're going to concede, you're going to be compromised. All right? It's, it's a test of integrity, you know? So let's jump to... Uh, Back in Isaiah. Thirty three and six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the wisdom and knowledge of uh, of the Lord, like the scripture says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. That's seeking the truth. And all these things shall be added. You know, what food, raiment, clothing, all those things shall be had in the, uh, all those things shall be had in the times of adversity. Because the Lord said, what? My servant shall eat. All right. My servant shall drink. When you read Psalms, it says the seed of the righteous have never been forsaken. You know. It says the fear of the Lord is his, tre is his treasure. You know, so. In these times that's, the, that's come, what's happening is. Uh, the proven is basically the proven grounds for the the true worshipers. All right, like uh, the uh, description in Second Ezra the sixteen chapter, it speaks about uh, then shall it be known who is my chosen. All right, now it's 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 it's, it's coming to be known. All right, for all to see, and that's why some gonna be shamed and shameful. All right, because it's going to be exposed that this this person or such and such was faking the fun or this person sold out or this particular individual didn't, didn't count the cost. You know. So let me jump to. Wisdom of Solomon. Let me see, is it the first chapter? Or is it the, or is it the second one? All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. For God created man to be mortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, right? So this is talking about Adam. It's talking about uh, the serpent, how the serpent was envious of Adam, all right? Because Adam was supposed to live forever, all right? And the serpent, the spirit that lives in the serpent, that's the same spirit that's, that was in Cain. That was the same spirit that was in Esau. That's the same spirit that resides in those of... Uh, uh, so-called American, so-called European, you know, so-called Russian, so-called German, French. That's the same spirit that resides in those people. Now, there's there's people like us that look like us. There's Israelites that may look like them, but overall, you know, the 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 seed line on the mill, those people, Edomites is what the Bible called them. All right. They're the devil. The word devil means deceiver. They're the devil. It says, and they that do hold of his side, who? The devil. They that hold to the devil's side, they that follow the devil, they that believe in it, take on his, take on his philosophies. All right? Take on his 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 belief in education, his belief in in in, in sexuality, take on his belief in and um, medicine, do find it. The it is death. Do find death. You know, that's why the scripture says, who will pity a snake charmer if he bit by a snake? All right? Ain't nobody, feel, if a snake charmer get bit by a snake, if you go and, you, 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 
You ain't going to pity him. Why? Because that's a profession. He chose to do that. So when things happen to these, to these people for listening to this man and following his ways, you know, and you suffer the result from that, what happens? It's deserved. It's rightfully so. That's why the scripture says, I will laugh at your calamity. All right? Scripture speaks about uh, you will be being mocked. You will be mocked. You know? Let me look up one more word. Let me look up derision. See, derision means basically you're going to be brought to confusion. Let me look up derision real quick. Look, uh, contemptuous ridicule or mockery. Yeah. You're going to be mocked. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I want to see uh, a scripture which speaks about uh Oh, here you go. Yeah. Uh Second Ezra 16 and 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, the Israelites. Alright. And they shall which the the, the wrath is kindled over us. All right, we're all we're always the scapegoat. The same way the Romans uh, consistently tried to make the uh, or made the the Christians the scapegoats. That's how they, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans were always made the scapegoats. We're always the reason. We're always the problem. It's our fault, right? It says, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Right. So you people that consent to this man's way, agree with him, follow along, and uh, follow, go along and get along because he says so. And how you going to feed your kids? Well, ultimately, it's going to end in you being mocked and you being in pain and you being in suffering. So... It's better, it's better to ask the Lord, pray to the Lord for, for some resilience and for some strength. Because in the 30s and 20s and 40s, people will have the, the, the mindset that, you know what, I'd rather die. You know, not all, but in certain instances in times past, you read about, you know, in different ages, people was willing to die. Like, you know what, I'll just die. I ain't going to be, no, I ain't going to live I'd rather not live, you know? But anyway, Lord willing, this was an um, edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praise is glory, glory and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash, Shalom.